Hey everyone, Izzy Noodles back again with part two of Blood Mountain. Last time we had arrived at Blood Mountain, but we can't get in. Like, there's there's no one home, so we're gonna have to break in. Uh, so, the way to get in is, oh, fence, is over this way. There's a hole in the wall. Here we go, so just hop inside. Let me light a flare because it's really dark. So I just follow it round. It's not mazy, you can't get lost at all. Okay, and just climb out. You can't do the flip out just here because the ceiling's too low. Here we go. <laughs> And here, you can crawl into that gap, but that's actually a dead end. There is only death down there, which is where the flare has just gone to. <laughs> the flare has gone to its death. So it's just a massive pit. So if we come back a little bit, there is this little crawl space here. So you just hop inside. You want to be towards the right-hand side of it, because you might get stuck to the left-hand side, because it's a bit lower down. So there's nothing in this room, so I just shoot that crate. The grate, rather. Up inside. Light a flare, because it's kind of dark. Okay, so follow it around. We've got uh, another passage there. I didn't even show you that room, I just hopped inside. I'll show you the, the room when I come out. There's three separate rooms. You can't shoot that grate there, so just ignore it and come round. And here we go, we can hop out here. Love that. <laughs> okay, so these th three rooms are identical and, well, when we came through the crawl space, this is the temple. We are inside the temple. But we can't open these gates from this side. There is an item we want in the centre one, but we can't get to it yet. So if we hop into the water, follow it round, we come to the right hand side because the left will lead us back out to the front and eventually we will fall down the waterfall and have to come all the way back up again. So here we are inside the temple. And now I'm going to show you what the goal is of this game. So we've got two snake head receptacles. So we want two items to put in there. And that turns off the trap here. So we can get the Moya lizard up there. So let me just show you what the trap does. There we go. Just for your own... Curiosity. So, firstly, I mentioned there is an item we want in that middle room that we were unable to get to. So I need to open those doors first. So if we come down here, you see the gate there, that's just a way to get your bearings. That's the gate where we couldn't enter. And you've got the, the main artifact straight ahead. And if I come this way and show you, these are the three rooms at the back there. You can just see the crawl space. That's where I came out of when I went into the water. So to get the gates open, by the way, the item in that middle room is for a secret. So you don't have to do this. So careful when you come up to here because these blades activate. Okay, you can, uh, it is easy to not take damage, but it takes a bit of practice. If I get hit once, that is fine. But if I get hit more than once, I will probably reload. So, just walk up to it. And you can see that one's lower than the other. You can crawl under the higher one, but not this one. So you want to crouch so you're in this position. If you are on all fours, just press the draw weapon button and she will be into this position. But be warned, she takes a slight step forward when she does it. I'll show you. 
she didn't want to be too close to the blade. If she's like this, she does that and she goes forward a little bit. So just be careful of that. That's another way of actually getting a bit closer to the blades. Oh. I can't do it. Let me line the stuff up. There we go. So I'm lined up and now you want to press the sprint button and she'll do that roll straight past them. Okay. Oh, took a bit of damage. That's all right. So here we go. Pull this lever. And those gates are now open. Now you have to come out of here though. They don't stop. You still have to try and... <laughs> but it is actually easier to leave the area. Oh, too close. Oh, I'm going to reload. Alright, let's try it again. Okay, that's the first one. Super smashing great. Alright. You know, I realised playing it back that I didn't even go into that room. <laughs> so, here I am going into the room. So it's the middle room and on the right there are some flares and in the water is the important item that I kept waffling on about and didn't even pick up. It's a water skin which is for the secret don't forget and I'm gonna fill it up right here just so it's ready for when we need it. Alright, oh, I don't need my guns. So now I'll just climb out and continue on. So I am going to replay this just so I've got it in my inventory up until I get to where I need it for. So, back to the game. I'll actually just show you what's over here. We've got another three cages, just like on the other side, but you can open these with the buttons. And we've got a raptor trapped in that one. <laughs> so I won't do anything with those yet. I'll come back to those in a bit. But if we come round to here, we've got a very pretty room. Drop down, whoops, <laughs> drop down there. She'll look straight up at that boulder. And over here, We've got a trapdoor with a button, you can just see it, there it is. So that will open the trapdoor and it will also activate the boulder. But we want to stop the boulder, so if you light a flare you will notice that this block is different. So just pull this out twice. And then the boulder will actually get trapped in that gap. because otherwise it's instant death as soon as you press that button you can't move away from the boulder so this is actually a return path once we've gone down that other grate but before I press the button there are some oozies up here oh I let go of the button here we go so I've already got oozies but this just gives us a bit more ammo and picking those up actually spawn a green monster you just heard it growl so I'm gonna use my Uzis because I love them right down there oh I fell got him okay so these ones aren't poisonous. I've never known of a, a TRLE level where these green monsters are poisonous. Okay, so now for this button. Let's have a look. Let me try and show you. Below, there is, you can see the ground and you can see water. So the ground bit is actually a slope and it's a longer drop than it looks. 
So to minimize damage, because you can take a lot of damage here, to minimize damage, when you are pressing the button, hold down the roll button as well, because then she goes to do the roll, but she doesn't get to complete it. And she hits the wall and bounces off it, so she lands at the higher point of the slope. So. Let's give it a go. There we go, you see she bounces. So uh, if we don't move that block out to stop the boulder, it lands straight on top of us in this pit. <laughs> and also don't get too close to the right hand side there because the spikes will actually take damage off you even though you were in that little pit. So just get rid of that bat. So you see that's up there where the ladder is. Uh, that's the return path. And right now we want to pull the jump switch which is above Lara's head. You can't see it from here. Um, and that opens the two doors on either side at the other side of the this room across the other side of the spikes and I'll show you oh no oh my god what happened I went to jump back the lesson here is don't get too close to the slope when you want to flip backwards okay so you want to get onto the bridges so do a backflip you should land straight on it so you can see now you've got that red gem that is a blood crystal that's what we're going to put into the snake receptacles so this jump switch is the bane of my life if you don't care about not using meds then you are allowed to get set on fire uh, once you hit the water just do a roll and she will roll and the fire will go out but otherwise it's so annoying because even though there's no flame there, if you jump too soon, she will get set on fire still. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, first try. Last time I practiced, I was there for about 15 minutes. <laughs> oh dear. So from here, just jump back again onto the bridge. And jump onto the next one. Here we go, grabbing the air for this one just in case she hits her head. So here we go, here is the first blood crystal. Music isn't very loud. Anyway, got crazy texture going on here. <laughs> it's all watery and wibbly. Um, so from here you want to do a backflip onto this slope being careful of the spikes and also there is a ceiling that she can potentially hit her head on so it, it can be a tricky maneuver to come back but it's mostly trial and error here we go perfect so now we can just leave this area and you notice when i pulled that jump switch the uh, the boulder fell down so now we can leave. So just do a backflip from here. And also that ledge that we uh, came from, that's a little bit too high. So we just want to push this block one more time. All right, let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to those three cages that we can open with a button. So there is nothing in that far end one, so I won't bother opening that one. But this centre one has a small med pack in it. And a bat. Two bats, actually. And the bats are the bane of my life. I'm sure I've said that about something else <laughs> during this game. So... Oh, I didn't even pick up that med pack, did I? <laughs> Small med pack. And now the next room. 
this raptor always runs straight past Lara into the big area. So don't be too concerned. I'll use my Uzis just because I can't. He's gone the other way. He's not gone that way before. He's lost. He's not done that before. Oh, the curse of recording. Oh, there he is. Oh, don't jump onto him. What are you doing? Oh, I took a fair bit of damage. Oh, I'm poisoned. Stupid raptor. I'm going to reload. Let's have some drunk Lara first, though. Oh, reloading. Okay, so saving is the one difference that ha happened before. I uh, This is the first time I've not saved. But I did and he went the wrong way again. Yeah, they tried to get the sneak up on me, didn't you? Didn't work. I knew you were there. Aha, three Uzi bullets left. Use them wisely. Um, okay, so in the room where the raptor was, there is only a torch. The torch is for a secret. So you don't actually have to uh, have a conflict with the raptor. So I'm just going to put the torch close to where it should be. Oh, a bat! Don't get me. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> How did three Uzi bullets not kill a bat? <laughs> um, yes, I'll leave that torch there. And for now, I'm going to take a detour for a secret. So we've not had a secret in a while. What's going on? So, be careful because it's a long way down. You will take fall damage here. You want to come all the way to the right hand side. Okay, all the way to the right and drop down because you've got this slope here. So you'll take less damage. Also up on the ceiling, there is a boulder there and a boulder up there. Uh, they only activate when you're coming back from the secret. So also in the first video, I mentioned uh, the slope that you don't need to come down because there's just death down there. That's the slope that would lead you down here to death. So from here, you want to jump over to this side. And you have a blade trap not cool so just oh no oh well i'm still alive i'll reload to come down any more than one step. I didn't mention that the first time. Or can you? Oh you can, two steps down. Ooh, okay. I quite often grab again too soon so I land straight in the path of the blade. So here we go, here's our secret. All the way down here for a large med pack. Also, we've got this door here. This door doesn't do anything for now. So, you want to come straight back up. So, when you're parallel with the right hand wall, you can shimmy around it. And then shimmy again to the next wall. 
and sometimes she won't actually climb straight up from here she is today but if you're having the problem where she won't move up just shimmy along and then shimmy back and she will and now just climb up we've actually got a safe patch here so if you are having trouble um, I think more often than not you can go straight down I think sometimes I had a problem where she uh, got hit by the blade even though she was in the safe space but yes safe patch and now we've got to be careful of these boulders so you might think just to grab the edge of that ledge there no you want to do a running jump <laughs> because that boulder will drag you down otherwise and now there's this one which is a bit more difficult common sense tells you to jump across to the pole and onto this wall which is climbable you can just see that there um, but no you will get hit by the boulder so we want to activate the boulder and then do that so if you aim for the pole if you miss the pole that's fine if you get the pole then you think you're going to fall down but you actually don't so it's fine whether you get it or not don't panic so I run and jump and aim for the pole there we go I aimed for it I got it that time so that boulder's gone now so now we can get back across so climb up to this higher ledge and from here if you do a standing jump you will overshoot the pole so you want to take just one step back and as you release from the pole you want to veer to the right because I've had a lot of problems where she grabs a bit too close to the left and she doesn't move she will go down the ladder but she won't go anywhere else so are we good are we yes 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 all right So now we can go back to the torch. Don't forget the torch is only for a secret. If you don't want the secret, whoops, uh, you can still go the way I'm heading, you just don't need the torch. Okay. Um, where's my torch? Where is my torch? Where's my torch? I've lost my torch. Really? Oh, I found it! <laughs> Hiding behind the wall. Alright, so what you want to do is just lob it down. We have a look, that's full of water. And you might think, well, why did I do that? My torch! Um, we will be training this area so we can get the torch. So don't you panic. Before I go down there, just gonna grow. Oh, nearly fell. Gonna grab some. Oh dear. Okie dokie. Here's my torch. Throw it down. And um, the item that I was going for, I've never died <laughs> trying to get it before. So just jump over, oh my goodness, well that's alright because <laughs> I can grab, I'm doing very badly. Um, basically you want to jump and grab in the air uh, when you come into the gap because you'll bang your head on here otherwise at the top. So do exactly what you did before, do a running jump over this slope and then exactly like that. So I don't forget to grab in the air. So now we want to hop down and we will take some fall damage. Not a lot though, so that's alright. So on this side, if we... Oh, oh dear, I'm in the water. <laughs> Pull this block out and there are some crossbow arrows behind here. So that's the only reason to pull the block out. We don't need it, there's just an item under it. So hop up 
and down and grab the arrows. And from here I'm going to drain the water so I can get my torch. So it's only just occurred to me that if you don't want your torch you most likely don't have to drain the water. So that pulling the wheel gets rid of all the water. Now we can grab the torch. And we want to climb back up. The only way to climb up is to come this side. Okay, so you can actually see that there is fire there, but we can't reach it. So we can't light our torch. So for now, just continue along with an unlit torch. Jump across to here and you can still oh I wanted to look you can see a pit down there we want to throw the torch down there okay so down it goes so we'll come back for that in a bit we don't want to go down that pit ourselves we want to go down a different pit so come back to where the the wheel is where we drain the water And down this passage is, is the pit that we want to throw ourselves down. We don't literally want to throw ourselves down because that will hurt. So I won't go down there this time. I will save that for the next video. So thank you for watching. Oh my goodness, the wires everywhere. <laughs> thank you for watching part two of Blood Mountain. And I hope to see you next time. Take it easy.